Good morning. My name is Emma Duncan, and I'm going to do the ministry moment today. I'm going to talk to you guys for a little bit. But first, um, we have a video for you, so I'm going to just turn down the lights a little bit so you guys can see it better. a stranger and you invited me in I was sick and you looked after me I needed a teacher and you inspired me I was lost and you prayed for me I was addicted, and you helped me break free. I needed a mentor, and you were there for me. I felt alone, and you showed me true community. You helped me experience the joy of worship. You made me feel welcome and safe. You gave me the strength to keep going. You led me to Jesus. Obviously, I'm here to talk to you guys about volunteering. Um, this is something that we tend to do a lot, as we ask for volunteers often. Um, but as we were talking in staff, I kind of wanted to put a, a different um, look on it. So I'm going to start by saying um, a little bit about myself and how I started volunteering. When I was in high school, I was a part of a group called NHS. It was a club, National Honor Society. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it. My mom worked at the school, so it was kind of, um, I was kind of forced to be a part of it because it would look good on my transcript, and that was, that was the beginning of why I did it. Um, the qualifications for it are you have to have a 3.5 GPA or higher to be a part of it, um, and you go out in the community and you volunteer, but you track volunteer hours. Um, so right off the bat, it was about hitting a quota. It wasn't necessarily about actually the volunteer work. Um, it kind of was about a number to me. I mean, other people could have seen it different, but this is kind of how it stood out to me. And something um, that I brought up in staff the other day was the word volunteer. I Googled it, and the definition for the word volunteer is freely offering to do something. And I asked my husband, and I asked a couple friends, like, what comes to mind when you think of the word volunteer? And everyone one of their first thoughts was unpaid, um, which, which is true. You do not get paid to volunteer. But I thought that that was kind of crazy, that that was the primary thing that people focused on, was freely giving your time to do something and it being unpaid. Um, well, what I'm here to do today is to change your perception of the word volunteer. Um, I want you to really think about the word and think about what it means. Um, something that I have always thought of when I think of volunteering, especially when it comes to church and my church community and my church family, um, I like to think of it more as being called. We have a lot of different opportunities here that can highlight a lot of different talents and special gifts that God has given you. Um, and I truly believe that volunteering is more of a being called to do something. Where do you feel that God is pushing you? Many of us maybe don't do well in front of people. And so greeting and ushering and reading and things like that might not be for you. And that's totally fine. We have a lot of opportunities for you to volunteer behind the scenes where you don't have to stand up in front of people like I'm doing right now. 
Surprisingly, I don't like doing this. Um, I get, I'm like shaking. Uh, speaking isn't my thing. I could sing for you guys, but speaking is not my thing. Um, and so, uh, but I did it <laughs> because pretty much um, the staff told me I needed to. But uh, <laughs> I, I accidentally went on a little bit of a passionate um, rant the other day in our meeting, and Susie was like, yep, you just say that during the ministry moment. That was perfect. So here I am. Uh, but I truly do want you guys to take a look at that word volunteer. I think that um, I think that a lot of times our minds immediately go to, well, I have to give up my personal time. Um, it's just another thing on my to-do list for the week, uh, and I don't get paid, which was a very common answer that I heard. But I truly think that if we start looking at it as... Um, God calling you to do something, God pushing you in a specific direction. I'm going to list a few things, um, and I went around to different members of the congregation, I went around to staff, and I asked what different uh, volunteer opportunities we truly have, and you guys are going to see that we have a lot. And I'm not saying you need to go down to the office right away and volunteer for something, but I want you to know that there are options for you to be a part um, of a volunteering um, you know, team in this church. There are many, many options. A few of them include reading on Sunday mornings, ushering, greeting, um, helping with our tech team and the slides, running the sound. Um, our team is amazing up there, but extra hands are always awesome. Um, teaching. We need teachers for adult faith formation, youth uh, confirmation, and Sunday school and Wednesday school. We're always looking for more hands. Um, bringing in bars and cookies, preparation and serving during fellowship, the bell choir, the, the choir, the worship team, leading small groups and circles, the altar guild and communion prep, even counting the offering. We have a couple people that come and do that every week, um, and they're there for a few hours. So a couple more hands could, could uh, slim down that time a little bit. Um, cleaning the sanctuary, being a part of the council. We always need more people. Um, and then also we have a welcome team, and we also have teams that meet and just brainstorm, just come up with ideas. There's so many different places where you could fit in and, um, and where we need you. So I just want to ask all of you to pray on it, to open your hearts, and to listen to where you feel God is calling you to be, um, and open your mind also to the word volunteer and what that could truly mean um, through God's eyes, not just ours and how we see it in our world today. But... Just think on it and pray on it because we are always, always in need of more people. And I know that all of you are amazing people and we would love to have any of you. So thank you.